hot rod feature. Rick Harley, drawn number one. Watch Lou Usher off number two spot. He'll be the one to beat from there. Brunswick Motor Wrecker start car moves him off and have a look at Lou Usher. Gets a jump from Rick Harley. Greg Bomb on the outside of Rick Harley. Into second spot and have a look at Bob Moxon moving through the pack. 20 laps. Oh, and there's uh, John Carl's right against the concrete. Have a look at him go. Strike me, right? Still coming. He can't go any wider because he's against the concrete. All right, the cars out front is Lou Usher. Lou Usher from Rick Harley, from Greg Bomber, from Steve Robinson, Freddie Jew, Jeff Russell, and Bob Moxon having all sorts of trouble. There's 19 laps to go. Jeff Russell inside of Lou, uh, Freddie Jew. Freddie Jew closes the gap, but uh, Bob Moxon on the infield. All right, the pace is up front. Oh, Lou Usher's moved a few spots. Oh, there goes Rick Harley. And Greg Bomber straight in front of uh, Jeff Russell. The orange lights are on. All right, here we go for a start. Jeff Russell on the infield. All right, Lou Usher on the 27 car. Gets a jump from Steve Robinson. Second spot. Look at Greg Bomber on the outside. The little blue Tirana. And this Freddie Dew in fourth spot. And John Hayden in the number three car. Greg Bomber on the outside of Steve Robinson. Oh, the pace is frantic. Lou Usher on the 27 car. Steve Robinson's lost it in the big way, but he's OK on the infield. The orange lights are on. Strike me rain. I wouldn't even let the start car get off the track. Lights go green. Near away racing. It's Lou Usher from Greg Bomber, Steve Robinson and uh, Freddie Dew. Oh, there goes Greg Bomber. Greg Bomber's lost him. Oh, there's cars everywhere. So to Steve Robinson. Oh, these guys I want to uh, want to tidy up, otherwise they're going to be in trouble. Lights go green, they're away. And uh, Lou Usher gets a good start in the top corner. Greg Bomber in second spot. Now look at Steve Robinson in third spot. Jeff uh, Lou, Usher. Lou Usher goes wide, but he's still OK. Greg Bomber, look at Freddie Jew in fourth spot on the outside. 18 laps remaining. Oh, look at Greg Bomber on the inside of Lou Usher. Lou Usher moves down into Greg Bowman. Oh, Freddie Jew out near the cockpit is OK. Steve Robinson moves to the second spot. It's Greg Bowman, Steve Robinson. Oh, look at Lou Usher right up near the concrete. Now Freddie Jew in third spot. Lou Usher tries to get inside of Freddie Jew, but he can't do it. Greg Bowman, the leader at the moment in the Ross Car Fabrication Toronto, but Steve Robinson, number nine car. All over him like a race. There's 17 laps to eight remaining. Greg Bowman, Steve Robinson, Freddie Jew, Lou Usher, John Hayden and John Coles. Oh, John Coles into the concrete sparks are flying, but he's OK. Look at those three cars up front. That's where the, the, the racing is. Greg Bomber from Steve Robinson and Freddie Jew. Steve Robinson, oh, there goes Lou Usher. He's lost it in the bottom corner. Still Freddie Jew in third spot, 15 laps still remaining. Greg Bomber goes wide in the bottom of the corner. Steve Robinson tries to get underneath, but he can't do it. The little number nine escort holding on for second spot, but look at Freddie Jew. Number 37 by the club champion, still holding up a third spot. The pace is frantic up front. It's still Greg Bomber from Steve Robinson and Freddie Jew. We're only 14 laps remaining. Freddie Jew goes wide outside of Steve Robinson. He can't make it. Greg Bomber holding the tight lines. If you want to pass me, pal, you pass me on the outside. Steve Robinson still in second spot, 17.82 seconds. Lights are still green. Ray Jew is having some trouble out there in whatever it is. 13 laps still remaining. He's still Greg Bomber from Steve Robinson, from Freddie Jew. A lot of smoke coming out of the John Hayden car, number three of the little escort. Let's hope there's no problem with that car. 12 laps remaining. He's still Greg Bomber hanging on. The leader of the hot rod feature. Just about to pass Gary Cook to lapping. Cook in the old keeper. He gets a lap flag. Greg Bomber on the outside of Cook. Steve Robinson on the outside. Look at Freddie Jew. Tries to squeeze through, but he can't make it. Greg Bomber extends his lead from Steve Oh, look at Freddie Jew on the inside of Steve Robinson. Freddie Jew and Steve Robinson battling out half. Freddie Jew gives Steve Robinson another bit of a nudge. 11 laps now, Freddie Jew on the inside of Steve Robinson. That's hard racing. Greg Bomber is now the leader from Freddie Jew's second spot. What's Steve Robinson, number nine, going third spot? Freddie Jew in second spot, the club champion. Close slowly but surely, closing the gap on Greg Bomber. Wilkinson, the number three car, just about to be left. Tires are scraping, the track is very hard out there. Greg Bomber elects to, elects to stay on the inside, but Dorf Freddie Jew on the outside. Greg Bomber elects to go on the outside past Wilkinson and does it nicely. Eight laps remaining, it's still Greg Bomber. Freddie Jew, Steve Robinson now gets in on the act. Looks like uh, Freddie Jew having a little bit of handling trouble. He's slowly but surely closing the gap once again on Greg Bomber. There's seven laps to go. King King, Greg Bomber, hang on. Greg Bomber in the Roscar Fabrication Car, the leader from Freddie Jew, from Steve Robinson. Oh, look at Freddie Jew having all sorts of handling trouble. Steve Robinson try, tries to close the gap, but he can't do it. There's only six laps remaining. Looks like Greg Bomber is the one. He's the man to beat. 
Freddie Dew swallows the big Ford, number 37 car sideways. Five laps to go, but have a look at Freddie Dew once again, closing the gap on Greg Bomber. Five laps remaining, it's still Greg Bomber from Freddie Dew, and that comes to some slower cars. This is going to be interesting. Oh, Steve Robbins has lost it. He's on the infield. That's a bit of a pity. But look at those two cars up in front. This is where the action is. Greg Bomber and Freddie Jew. Freddie Jew tries to get inside of them, but he can't do it. Steve Robinson back on the track. There's only four laps to go. And there's some slower cars blocking these two front cars. Here's the passing flag. And Greg Bomber outside of Cook once again. But look at Freddie Jew rolling his hammer. Greg Bomber doesn't want to make one mistake. Oh, Freddie Jew having a bit of understeering trouble. Oh, Steve Robbins has lost it again. Back onto the track in front of Greg Bomber. Greg Bomber comes out in front of the members' grandstand. The Ross Car Fabrication car with only three laps to go. Freddie Jew right on the tail of Greg Bomber. Jew on the inside of Bomber. Can they do it? Yes, Freddie Jew now the new leader. Freddie Jew with 37 car takes the lead from Greg Bomber with only two laps to go. Greg Bomber is going to be doing everything to try and get past Freddie Jew. Freddie Jew is having a bit of pushing trouble on the top corner, understeers pretty badly. That particular lapper didn't. Oh, there he goes, Rollo once again, he's lost to die, and Greg Bomber threw the car sideways to miss it, and the lights would definitely go orange, and that's a good decision. But the chequered flag has gone, the race declared the race. Freddie Jew, the number 37 car, wins the hot rod feature. Greg Bomber in second spot, I don't know who was third. The action's going.